My colleagues and I understand the hardship that high inflation is causing, and we remain strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. The Federal Reserve's fight against inflation is not finished. The strains that emerged in the banking sector in early March appear to be resulting in even tighter credit conditions for households and businesses. The central bank voted unanimously to boost interest rates by a quarter point on Wednesday. That brings the federal funds rate to 525 and a quarter percent, a high not seen in over 15 years. My colleagues and I understand the hardship that high inflation is causing, and we remain strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. Another financial matter still hovering over Washington, D.C., the debt ceiling crisis. According to the White House Council of Economic Advisors, the U.S. could lose more than 8 million jobs and cut the stock market in half if the country breaks its spending limit. President Joe Biden and most Democratic lawmakers want it raised without any spending cuts. Our view about the path forward remains the same. Can't choose the default on America Act, must avoid the horrors of default, pass a clean bipartisan bill to avert default. But some Republicans say Biden needs to hammer out a deal with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The Speaker of the House has been sitting at the grown-ups table for months, waiting for President Biden to act like a leader. I'm John Lawrence reporting.